Some months ago, I informed the President of the Republic, President Ramaphosa, that it was the intention of the Commission to obtain affidavits from past and present members of the Cabinet and Deputy Ministers. so that they could inform the Commission whether they had had any relationship or dealings or interactions with the Gupta family as well as or they are companies or entities as well as whether they had had any relationship or dealings or interactions with Busasa or Busasa's subsidiaries or officials or managers or directors of Busasa so that the commission could look at the information and I informed the president that I thought that as president, he should be the first one to give the commission his own affidavit, disclosing to the commission if he had had any relationship with uh, the Gupta family or their entities, as well as with Bosasa or Bosasa entities or personalities in Bosasa, before the Commission could ask ministers and deputy ministers for such affidavits and so that they could disclose the same information. The president accepted that this was necessary and indicated that he would definitely finish the commission with an affidavit making such disclosures on his part. He also undertook to encourage ministers, cabinet ministers, that when they are approached by the commission in this regard, they should cooperate. I just wish to announce that I did receive about or early in July, such an affidavit from the President. And he has made a request that the Commission discloses the affidavit to the public so that there should be no speculation about what the affidavit may be saying. I have decided to grant this request and will therefore make available to the media the affidavit that he has finished to the Commission in regard to those two matters. I emphasize that he made the request that the Commission discloses the information 
the affidavit to the public because I do not want any impression to be created that this means that each time we get any such affidavits, we would necessarily disclose them before the deponent there to gives evidence in the commission. Obviously, ultimately, the public would know what the contents of the affidavits that will be submitted by past and present ministers in regard to such an issue. But it may be that if it is contemplated that a minister will give evidence at a certain stage before the commission, it may be that it would be decided not to disclose it until the minister gives evidence. But in this particular case, as I say, the president has requested that it be made, um, it be disclosed to, to the public. Uh, in this regard, I just want to emphasize that bearing in mind the evidence that I have had since August last year in relation to the Gupta family and Busasa, it is important that the Commission gets a full idea of what relationships those entities may have had or may still have with people who are in the national executive now or may have been in the national executive in the past. The second point I wanted to mention is that <clears throat> I believe I indicated recently within the context of the former president Mr. Jacob Zuma having been required to appear before the commission that he was not the only leader that would be asked to appear before the commission and that there would be others, there will be others who will appear before the Commission. I take this opportunity to indicate that some months back, I informed President Ramaphosa that I believed that the work of this Commission could not be said to be properly completed if this Commission did not hear evidence from those who may have been leader, part of the leadership in government over the years to which some of the matters that the Commission is investigating have been mentioned where matters have been mentioned relating to state capture and other issues that the Commission is investigating, and that it would be important that at least some of the people who were in leadership should come before the Commission and give evidence about when they may have realized that there was state capture taking place, what they did about it as part of the leadership, and explain to the nation through the commission 
what they may wish to explain. And in that regard, I informed the former president that since he has, he was deputy president of the country for a few years, which are covered by some of the allegations, it would be necessary that he should appear before the commission and give evidence about some of these matters. I also indicated that the same would, in my view, apply to the ruling party because over the years, the ruling party has been given a mandate by the people of South Africa to, to form a government to govern. And the people of South Africa may be asking questions as to when it itself realized that there were acts of state capture happening or that there was state capture and what it did to stop state capture. And that for that reason, I was informing him also in his capacity as president of the ruling party that it will be necessary for the leadership of the ruling party to appear before the commission and explain to the nation through the commission what they did and make a contribution to the nation understanding exactly what happened. I say this in part to make the point that it was not just former President Zuma who had to appear here. I intend that certain leaders who are important in the country or who have had important roles to play in the country should appear before the commission and give evidence about various matters. In response to All this, President Ramas Ramaphosa indicated that he fully agreed with me, that it was necessary that leaders in government and in the ruling party should come before the commission, appear, and make their input and say what they know, explain what they need to explain, and he embraced the idea. He gave me an undertaking that if and when I say he should come to the commission to give evidence he will come. My understanding is that that is the case with both, not only government, but also with the ruling party. I thought it was important to just exp explain this, announce this uh, as I release President Ramaphosa's affidavit so that 
everybody would understand at least part of the work that the Commission is doing. We will soon be approaching ministers, cabinet ministers and deputy ministers, past and present, and asking them to depose two similar affidavits with regard to any relationship or relationships or dealings or interactions that they may have had as individuals or as ministers or deputy ministers with the Gupta family or companies involved, and, uh, uh, Gupta companies or Busasa or Busasa subsidiaries or people who are involved in Busasa. I will then now <coughs> give my registrar uh, the President's affidavit. He will give them to Reverend Stemela, and there are a few of them here. Reverend Stemela will give them to the media uh, people who are here. So uh, there is an advantage in being here. Uh, so if you are here, you get them immediately. <laughs> Others who are not here, they may have to wait before they get them. Uh, thank you. That is the end of the announcement.